What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about a brand new kernel vulnerability proof of concept that was released for iOS 17.4.1 and lower. Now this works with old devices, including the newer ones, A12 and stuff like that. So we're going to get into that in a second and see what we can do with it. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to essentially repair your iOS if it's broken, no longer boots, it's stuck on Apple logo or black screen, blue screen, stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it can fix 150 plus iOS errors. So iOS 17.5 is officially out. It was released just a couple of hours ago and with it comes a huge, huge security content. Now in that security content, there is a vulnerability CVE 2024-2784 and uh, this one is essentially a kernel vulnerability that leads to execution of arbitrary code with kernel privileges, something that we can possibly use for jailbreak purposes. Now I do have a full article in here on iDeviceCentral.com published today, you can definitely check it out to see the full context and stuff like that. But um, essentially, this developer said that they reported this vulnerability. It's an iOS and macOS kernel vulnerability that leads to execution of arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And they said that they will publish the proof of concept soon. And um, a couple of hours ago, they did. They said, quote, POC or proof of concept for CVE 2024-2784. Wanted to share it after finishing a blog post, but decided to share it here. So they essentially have the whole code over here. They posted a panic log by the looks of it and of course the uh, code on how to panic and how to do everything you need to do in order to trigger the vulnerability. So here is the full code. Now before the proof of concept was released we didn't much know what is going to get released from this post over here. So a lot of people started to get very hyped, me included. And there was even talk about updating Misaka and Kawabunga Lite and stuff like that. That might still be possible in the future, don't get me wrong, but this is not a kernel exploit is just a vulnerability. So we don't have an exploit yet, but we do have a vulnerability that can potentially be exploited. So everybody in the community is currently advising you to stay on 17.4.1 and lower. Definitely go ahead and do that. So yeah, that's basically the brand new kernel vulnerability. Even though we don't have an exploit for it yet, we do have the proof of concept to trigger the vulnerability. And by the looks of it, the developer will also post a blog post explaining how the vulnerability works, which could actually lead to a proper kernel exploit if a security researcher skilled enough takes the vulnerability and decides to create one. So for jailbreak purposes, this is one piece. However, we would still need a PPL bypass or a SPTM bypass for newer devices on iOS 17. So it's not really all that it is to it, but at best for now, we're going to get like troll store for iOS 17.0, which would definitely be quite cool, but we might get updates for other stuff in the future too, if we get to the point where we are able to exploit this properly and we have more components of the chain. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. This is GeoSnow. Peace out.